Am I the asshole? For not playing any child support? My ex-girlfriend, Claire, got pregnant while we were dating. Although she told me she just wanted to be friends, I was ready to be a father. However, she met someone else, Becca, who didn't want me around, so they asked me to cancel my paternal rights. At the time, I was torn because I wanted to be there for my child, but I also felt that if they didn't want me around, it was best to waive my rights. After fighting for a while, I eventually gave up because it was clear that they didn't want me there. Fast forward 13 years later, Claire and Becca are going through some stuff, and they want me to pay child support. However, the court had already ruled that since I waived my paternal rights, I am not legally obliged to pay child support. Despite this, Claire is calling me a bastard and a deadbeat, and she's even calling my family and getting them involved. While I understand her frustration, I don't think it's appropriate for her to be involving my family in this matter. Not the asshole. They wanted your parental rights and responsibilities terminated, they've been terminated. Not the asshole. They didn't want you to be a dad, so you aren't a dad. They're only regretting their decision now because they need money. If you consider helping out financially, you need to insist that you also be allowed to have a relationship with your kid with no secrets about why you haven't been around. The kid deserves to know that the only reason you weren't around is because of their moms. Not the asshole. Tell them your financial obligations ended after you waived your parental rights at their request. Not the asshole. When I read the title I was very ready to say you're the R, but in this situation you're right. You tried to be involved and they shut you down, they can't come after you 13 years later for money. Not the asshole. So they only want you to be a dad when it's convenient to them? But yet they kicked you out of your child life. Block them and get your family to block them. Not the asshole. They didn't want you involved and by doing so they forfeited the right to expect request child support. Not the asshole. You were coerced to waive your rights and you are in no legal or moral obligation. You were merely a sperm donor, at least according to your ex and her new partner. If you want to pay child support, that is definitely up to you. Personally, I'd ask to have some contact with your child and instead of just forking over money I'd ask them what the child needs and get those things. Not hand over money which may or may not go towards the child. Not the asshole they had you waive your rights. Play stupid games win stupid prizes. The thing about waiving your rights is that once you do, the child is no longer yours. You have no claim, but also no obligation. Claire wants to have her cake and eat it too. She wanted complete control, but now wants you to fund it. Do not give any money without consulting a lawyer if you can to reinstate your parental rights. Otherwise, she is asking for money for a kid that's no longer yours. Hasn't been for years. Hard as that is, this is a 14-year-old kid you have had no part in raising. Is that supposed to change now? Think hard before giving any money. Not the asshole. Regret and spite our ugly emotions. Edit thanks for the award s. Holy shit 9k? This is crazy I've never felt so appreciated by strangers. Thank you so much. 23k, scared face. Not the asshole. But it's a crappy situation. I don't know how they made it clear they didn't want you around but it's 13 years later, they can't just change the rules because they're facing challenges. Not the asshole. Just, no. They wanted you out, so you're out. You know what's an R move? Telling someone to beat it, and then a decade later telling that someone that they are a deadbeat. Unless you want a relationship with your kid, block and ignore. Not the asshole she asked for that. You reluctantly obliged. And you gave up a relationship. Tell her when you get all those years back where you could have had a relationship had she not begged you you'll then pay child support. Oh really? She just happened to meet this other woman right after you fathered a baby for them to raise? She needed a sperm donor and she found one. She was manipulative then, 
and she's being manipulative now. Not the asshole. I eventually gave up because it was clear that they didn't want me there. They still don't want you there, they want your money there. They fought tooth and nail to have you give up parental rights. That's what they get and frankly that's what they deserve. They took over a decade of bonding with your bio daughter away from you, they can't just wave a wand and give that time back to you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole tell her you'll pay child support when she gives you the missed childhood years back. She doesn't get to have it both ways, this was what she wanted. Poor kid. They care more about screwing themselves out of money than screwing the child out of a father. Not the asshole. Info what country are you in? Waiving parental rights does not work like that in North America, so it might help to have some context about what the legal system looks like where you live. If you were in the US, you would have had parental rights from birth, and the only way for those rights to be severed would be through your consent by your requesting through the courts that Becca be allowed to adopt your child. And without that happening, you would still have all the rights and obligations of any other parent. Wow. That took a turn. I was all ready to cast my opinion. But not the asshole you gave up parental rights, which means you are not obligated to pay child support. This story gives me bad vibes. Like your ex planned to get pregnant with you because she wanted a child for her and Becca. Not the asshole you absolutely are not obligated to pay child support and they shouldn't be asking. Man just avoid those two like a plague. You got absolutely no opportunity to be there with the kid during formative years and the fact that they want you to pay shows how delusional, narcissistic, and pathetic they are. Not the asshole. If you were obliged the courts would have said so. If you are considering helping, make sure you consult a lawyer first. For all we know sending money once could set a precedent that will force you to continue support. Do you want to be in the kid's life? You could do a legal arrangement where you pay child support and get visitation. Otherwise not the asshole but also that poor kid. Despite this, Claire is calling me a bastard and a deadbeat. Claire does not get to both tell OP to waive his paternal right, then call him a deadbeat when it suits her. Absolutely not the asshole. 100 not the asshole. You're a deadbeat who never did anything for his own child. You terminated my legal right to be the parent and pushed me away for 13 years. Yeah, but I need money now, being responsible. Absolutely barbaric, smiley face. This is one of the saddest am I the asshole? S I've ever read. Not the asshole. She doesn't get to use you as a human ATM after pressuring you to give up your child. It really sucks that the kid is stuck in the middle of this but it sounds like legally it's not your responsibility. Is the kid a total stranger to you? Would you want to have a relationship with them now? If you don't want to reconnect I'd block her and move on with your life. Not the asshole. They both demanded that you waive all parental rights and the court terminated all such obligations. Claire should not be harassing you for cash 13 years later because she they both want to spend your money or to have the option of using you your relatives as their free babysitters. If there is any further contact attempts or insults directed at you, file police reports. Not the asshole. Sounds like they want to have their cake and eat it too. They don't want you involved but for your money. That's crazy. Not the asshole. Your ex-girlfriend found someone else Becca, who was thus able to provide support to your daughter. She weighed the risks carefully when she asked you to cancel your paternal rights. Becca is still around to provide support to your daughter. Claire made her bed. She now gets to lie in it. Because you have waived your paternal rights with the mother's consent, you are nothing to the child. WTF? This is an awful thing to do deny someone parental rights, and then come at them after 13 years for neglecting the child? This person has so many issues, and I feel for the kid. Not the asshole. They put you in this situation. They can't come begging for money after what they did. This is on them to sort their stuff out. 
Definitely not the asshole. Oh hell no, you're not the asshole. They made a major, binding decision when they asked you to forfeit your rights. They need to live with their decision and work this out on their own. It's a really cruel place to put you in. Not the asshole you gave up that obligation when you have up your parental rights. Not the asshole they made your role very clear. Now here's the other thing do you want to be involved from now on? And are they willing to make that change? But from the jump no you are not. While they have involved your family it doesn't sound like anyone made any promise other than wanting you to pay up. At the time, I was torn because I wanted to be there for my child, but I also felt that if they didn't want me around, it was best to waive my rights. I understand why you felt this way, and I hate that some men have to make choices like this. Your ex and her partner are absolute ours. You didn't say what stuff they're going through, but I hope it sucks. They don't want you to be a dad, they want you to be an ATM. Not the asshole but I think you need a lawyer in your jurisdiction if you want to re-approach. There are tools available to parents in difficult divorces reconciliation therapists, guardian ad litem to help navigate coming back into the kid's life, and making good decisions for the kid when the parents are messy. Not the asshole those two are disgusting. They bullied you until you agreed to not be a father to your child. It must have already been hard knowing you will not be able to see them grow up and be there for them. Now that they are in trouble they want you to pay up after what they've done. So they are basically trying to bully you again into paying for a child that you have no bond to. For them it's stay away from your child but pay us this is all just terribly sad. I hope one day your kid seeks you out and sees how disgusting her mother is.